What's up NBA fans, how's it going? What a game for the Miami Heat. The Chicago Bulls lost to the Heat. Jimmy Butler and Max Struss had an amazing performance to guarantee the 8th spot in the Eastern Conference against the Milwaukee Bucks. And the players got a lot to do right now. Before we get to it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Now, let's get to it. In the game against the Bulls, Butler made a basket while being fouled with only 2.17 remaining, which gave Miami the lead. Then, he passed to Struss for a three-pointer, which increased the lead to five points. Struss secured the win by making three free throws after being fouled with 40 seconds left on the clock. As a result of the victory, Miami has secured the number eight seed in the Eastern Conference, and will start playing against the top overall seed, the Milwaukee Bucks, starting Sunday. DeMar DeRozan was the leading scorer for the Bulls with 26 points and 9 assists. Alex Caruso scored 16 points, Zach Levine had 15, but only made 6 out of his 20 shots, and Kobe White scored 14. Although the Bulls won on the road against Toronto on Wednesday, they were unable to secure the second road victory that would have qualified them for the playoffs. During the game, Miami was leading by 14 points in the first quarter and had a 10-point lead in the third quarter. However, they found themselves trailing by 6 points with 7-12 remaining. Butler and Struss scored 9 out of the next 12 points over the next 2 minutes, with Butler contributing 7 and Struss 2. This tied the game, which was very familiar territory for Miami, as they had played in the most clutch games, within 5 points or less in the final 5 minutes, in the league during the regular season, with a total of 54 games. Perhaps all that experience paid off, as the game was tied at 90-90 after White's three-pointer with 3.47 remaining. From that point on, the Heat outscored the Bulls 15-1 to win the game. In the post-game interview, Butler was asked how they can beat the Milwaukee Bucks. So like I said, we got to play damn near perfect basketball, which we're capable of. Play hard, stick together through the good, through the bad. So, what's your thoughts on it? I like Miami, but I think the Bucks have more motion and are more prepared for the playoffs. Comment here what you thought. Subscribe for more NBA news. And I see you in the next video.